Hello everyone and welcome back to the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Ah, it'll be nice to finish this game up when the time comes. Got a few things to check out, it looks, but obviously, based on what we're doing, we have to... Okay, we have to continue this mission right here. When the leaves, when the levee breaks, part two, travel to Bywater. So we actually need to go there. So we're going to have to travel to a couple places to be able to get to Bywater. So we need to go to Bastion or the Ward. I think I've seen the Ward, a little bit of it. But um, obviously the mission's there. We don't want to trigger something for that, I don't think. We always do that later, so we're going to want to go to the Bastion. We're going to want to go through the Bastion Way and then go to Bywater to do the mission today. And uh, Memorial Lane, there's a few things that we can check out there. Um, let's tune into number 47 and we'll see what has what. Food stockpile discovered. Rampart. Okay, so food discovered. Rampart. Don't know if we've been there yet. But we definitely need to get a bastion. But we need to check out the shallows and the Moya line. Um, I'll do that off camera to, uh, to collect some more resources. And mainly focus on bastion and then get a bywater. Because that is our mission today. So, that being said, let's go. Okay, so I went for a little supply run of the shallows. There was still two more days on finding the med cache there. And I believe I found it, hopefully. Uh, not too much there. But a few boxes, so if we ever need to make bandages in the future, we can. Uh, let's see, food cache. We don't know it's here, that's interesting. Uh, no head, nice day. Oh! We are going to it, definitely. Okay, so if we got this right, no head means there's no time. So there might still be. Undead around, yeah, there's undead, but we don't get a herd, so we can literally be here all day. It's raining out today. Oh, yep, this looks important. Wow. This place doesn't exactly look occupied. Alright, let's bust our way in here. We did get an axe at some point, I don't remember when. But it would be handy. Nice. We only use the axe for chopping down the doorways. Unless it's absolutely necessary. Oh, hi. That was a very long hello. Hello. Oh, okay, there you go. Is this another entrance? It was. You were waiting at the door to scare me, weren't you? Oh, Emma. Alright, there's definitely... One behind here. Guess I was wrong. Bathroom. Getting meds is good for me. But knowing how jump scares work in this game, that's the part I don't look forward to. <laughs> ah, nobody flushed. I'm gonna play. Play catch the knife. Catch it! Good job, mate. You got it. Yoik! Hi. Morning to you, fella. And good night. What? Ah. Nice. Oh. I remember reading a secret on this. The car crashed into the house, isn't it? So is there a way to get in here? Ah, oh, it is. Oh, hi. Hi there. It's 
a lot, a lot of matches. Hey, another hat. When I found what I was looking for, there's a little sticker here. Um, yeah, it's probably in the notes now. Jasmine safe. This one. Mate, me where the Jasmine play. Three six five seven. Where the Jasmine play. So I imagine that's here. We just gotta find out where the Jasmine play. Okay, let's just around for this, mate. Oh hi. You're gonna be irritating of sorts. I guess it went that bad. I feel like I feel like that might be the alley. Just thinking. That might be it. Aha, you heard something and then you didn't. That's how death works. Oh, we never did go in here. Oh, you're not checking me. I have the slight feeling that this actually doesn't consist for here. Jazz man, so okay, three six five seven. So I'm guessing we just hold on to this until we reach a section that actually has like maybe statues of jazz guys, jazz players. Well, I can't say this enough, but um, yeah, I think we're pretty prepared for any health needs. I cannot stop taking so many medical trips because where we have a third page it just added a third page there was only one dash two but now there's one dash three but because i'm using the second part so we are getting close i really want to make the grass clipper so we need more workable metal goes kaboom we don't want that Cleaver might be a good replacement to the um to the knife there. Yeah, why not? Um, yeah, let's build a couple. Yeah, so we can just hack them now. Nice. What are you? Survive the fit test. Stamina is increased by twenty five percent. So it's the fitness ground pacer test. Okay. Here we are. So this is where we gotta find the second pump for KC. And should be as much as we can do. Place looks a little bit dead. Can't I can't wait to test out this just in case. Maybe I could test it in on him. I'm hoping not, but not much I can do about it. Oh. You a family? We have to keep our voices in. I'm in a bind and I need a third party who said some real commotion. Someone unaligned. Nothing shady, I swear. You've got my attention. What do you need? Meet me on the opposite side of this building. Can't risk being overheard or seen. Who are you? Slice your head off. Yay! <sighs> Nice. That's a durability on it. Oh, that's still really good. This looks like a section of the dream I had. Oh, there he is. It was a little different, but it was after walking, uh, watching The Walking Dead. You made it. Good. Okay. Here's the deal. I used to be with the tower, and I was happy there, really. But I got a tendency to get mouthy, and there were some things I saw that didn't sit right with me. So I spoke my mind. Good. My boyfriend warned me, but I didn't listen. I thought I could get through to these people, but whatever. Long yeah, they don't before, really. They kicked my <laughs> ass out. I connected with the reclaimed out of necessity to survive. But I don't belong with them. I belong with Justin. He and I, we need to put all this tower and reclaim behind us. We need to make our own way. Yes, we do. Seems like you know what you need to do. What do you need me for? I need to reconnect with Justin. And then we need to get the f out of this hell. I've written Justin a letter. Lays out my plan for us to reunite and jet. You play postal worker. Get him the letter. Then we can talk rewards. Time is working against us. I'm afraid one of us might bite it before we see each other again. Tower and Reclaim don't exactly get along, as I'm sure you know. Oh, I know. You can see the dilemma. 
If the guy who runs my patrol finds out I'm communicating with the tower, that's it for me. Walker Fu, just in the station with the tower patrol in the area. Tom's lumberyard just across the way. If things get crazy, we might accidentally kill each other. It's fucked up. Don't worry. I'll deliver the letter. Then we can discuss your end of the bargain. I ain't a charity case, and I like to be up front whenever I strike a deal. Here's what I have to offer. Industrious galore stocked up in a nearby warehouse next to this auto shop we're posted up in. Place is infested with walkers at the loading dock entrance, but there is a way in on the side. From there, you can slip right on past the phone without much trouble. I stashed the key to the side door somewhere safe. I'll have it when you return. Here's the letter. Meet me back here after you court. My love. Time to It's been weeks since we last spoke. What if we never hold each other again? This is their war. Not a thing. The odds may be stacked against us. But I would rather risk everything with you by my side than survive this hell without you. Meet me at our spot beyond this southern funnel where it all began. Two dawns from now. Travel light. You have to be swift. Forever your baby. Huh, that's nice. So they're like right by each other. It's gonna suck if there's gonna be a non out war. I really hope they don't kill each other. What happened here? Okay, I don't know if I should take the medicine anymore. Oh, wait. Is that what it means by med cash? Wait, have I been missing notes? Hi. Out for a stroll? Yeah, kinda. Hi. You look familiar. Do I know you? It's a nice gun you got there. You're not much of a talker, are you? This must be the mate we are looking for. Um, don't want to break that. Ah, uh, Bailey's ammo. Nice. Alright, let's talk to you. What are you doing around here? You need something? I'm looking for Justin. Need to deliver something. That's you? Yeah, I'm Justin. What do you have? Devon asked me to deliver this letter to you. Devon's letter. Much appreciated. Here, please deliver my response to Devon, and that's the last that we were asked of you. Yeah, I don't mind doing it anymore, mate. Hi, Devon. First off, miss you. Second, I believe in us. If we die, we die together. Our old oak, I will be there. I promise. You're right. Fuck these fools. Our time is now. Love you to the moon. Just. I know what's going on here, and oh. I seem to you like the right thing to do, helping out a couple of star-crossed lovers. But you're putting their lives in jeopardy. Devon allowed his attitude to choose his path, but Justin doesn't deserve to be dragged down with him. We've been through a lot of together. I don't want anything horrible to happen to him. They need a clean break. No more contact. If they keep this up, they will both be dead. I'm sure Justin gave you a letter for Devon. That's how they've been staying in touch. Deliver this letter instead. It will end things between them. Then they can get on with their lives. <sighs> Devon, this is crazy. We can't continue to risk our lives like this. I am safe, and I want to stay safe. You should do the same. I love you, but I will not jeopardize my life. You know I am right. Let me go. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. Justin. You're really gonna stick me another with another one of these game? Really? <sighs> Why not? I'll switch the letters. Hearts might break, but lives will be saved. Thank you. You're doing the right thing for everyone involved. I don't like how you said that, so I'm not going to now. Okay, so obviously nobody is actually live with this and you guys will be seeing my choices afterwards and 
it's really just up to the time for you guys to figure out exactly what I'm going to do here. But the situation at hand here <coughs> clearly is a Romeo and Juliet kind of situation. The potential for multiple deaths over two people. Oh, I'm running out of time. Versus just these two if they separate. But I'm not going to do that because... This will exactly be a Romeo and Juliet situation. They both want to go down, then they can. But I'm not going to be involved. You made it back. God, I don't know about this. Did Justin send a reply? Are we giving him this? Here it is. He was glad to hear from you. Thank you so much. This letter made my day. Hell, it made my life. Justin and I, we're gonna do this. We're really gonna do this. You made a difference today, stranger. I owe you. Here's that key, I promise. Hopefully gonna make your life a whole hell of a lot easier. Oh. Nice. Oh, uh, you a blue boy. It does cut heads off. Nay, let's chop this one's head off, shall we? <laughs> Look at that. Here we are. Did that work? No things going on here. Main of the room. Oh, what's this here? <gasps> it's the pump. Well, that was easy. Oh my goodness. Come on. Stab your head or not. Why is that glowing? There's always something glowing. Well, I think we found what we needed. So we got the second pump regulator. I just threw a bunch more stuff in. Wow, we have a lot of water. We never use it. A lot of fiber too, but um, yeah. So let's go ahead and see what we can make. And since we got the pieces now, something sounds like it's always getting closer. But um, we gotta go down to that section over there, like we did before, and install the regulator in that place that we did that one time. Oh man. So I need adhesive now, but I have better protection gear. One more, that's all we need. One more to get the grass clipper. That is my goal for this. So if we find that adhesive out there, then we actually only need one. One! Two. So the second pump's over here. Whoa. Twenty six. I know we need Casey's help for this. Oh, Thirty nine. We can't put it. Okay. Let's see. Maybe what was that? Casey, come in. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Manual open to the appropriate page. You ready? Let's do this. Great. Uh, let's start with the serial number again. Then I can calculate the flow requirement settings. Uh, just like the first time through this. 562-793-6-42. Okay, uh, let me look at these charts a second. So, here we go. Got it. Set valve A to 26. Valve A set to 26. Number's green. Okay, good. Uh, valve B with A at 26 should be set at 39. Valve B to 39. Valve B to 39. Set. Two numbers green, A and B. Perfect. Okay, uh, last valve. One second, one second. There we go. Valve C should be set to 67. Valve C set. 
All numbers green. Now the button, right? Yeah, uh, press the round button and we'll be calibrated. <laughs> when this is all over, we should start a plumbing business, huh? The, the, the bunker buds. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, but the name needs work. Tourist and the Lip Flapper Inc. Uh, that's catchy. Ha, frickin' ha, Taurus. Anyways, this regulator needs to be installed in another pump near St. Vincent's. Same routine with the beacon light. It'll be on, so be ready to walk her skulking about. Now, once it's installed and you're back at the radio, let's touch base. Good luck. I'll spend the rest of my day figuring out how to prevent the floodwater from shorting out my radio. I'll talk to you soon. See, Casey. Okay, so there's gonna be walkers there now. People? What's all that about? Mother people. They disappeared. Very bizarre. Oh, good news. What? Three. Finally. Alright, so what's this? Wait for Casey to reach out to you, so that'll probably be the next day. Let's go ahead and make that happen. Ow. Oh. Day 15, everyone. Let's try the. I was thinking. I was thinking that maybe we could try to get all this done in under a month. <sighs> Nothing. Because he hasn't said a thing yet. Okay. Well, we actually do have to wait for him to get to be able to get anywhere. So in the meantime, I'll go explore a place, maybe. Maybe a memorial lane, because it probably has the no hoard. Okay. So instead, we're actually going to Rampart, where the skill was. Um, turns out that the memorial actually expired, so there's no hold on this one instead. So we're going to be exploring this place. Again, uh, considering the fact that we did get that uh, code to the safe, um, it should be here. And it was banned, so we have to go to the ban room. Four. Home of the Wildcat. If I haven't read that on the school 300 times. Five. You're looking a little blue there. Ah. Got five there. I found the entrance to the Oxford gym. Let's get some more heads shopped. Six. So dangerous. Seven. Eight. Was it a blue boy? I think I might have lost track. Oh, here's the pan room. Okay, it said it was in here. Well, I didn't say it wasn't here, it was just... I assumed it was. It's an auditorium somewhere? I guess this is where they practice, not play. <sighs> Twelve. <sighs> Thirteen. I have no other choice. I really don't want to use the axe. For 
any purposes besides this. Okay, so I went around a little bit. Oh god, those are not gonna open. I found god, stop grabbing that. I found this. Um turns out on this part here, which is the school, I've been going up and down this entire thing three times. I have never gone over here. I found this little spot. I walked over here. And there is one zombie here. And now he's gone. Okay. But then I saw something going up over there. So this is what we want to find. I'm so sorry for you two. Hidden room key, it's so great. Literacy becomes knowledge, knowledge becomes power. Alright then. Okay. So I figured out what that meant. I actually don't need to be here. This, with, uh, meet me where the Jasmine play. I didn't think about it because I did say statue. I said that there was a statue. That's what I thought. Um, there was no conf uh, there was no confident answer, but I felt very confident about it. Turns out it's the statue guys outside of the catacombs back at the place. So we actually don't even need to be here. Oh, would you look at that? Temporary increases standard my region. That's a better one. Oh, look at that. Here, yeah, here, you're all mushed. Stick you in there. That looks good. Is it ready? <gasps> it is ready. Look at you. Oh. Alright, so I think I'm going to be using that from now on. Oh, God. We found this. Hidden ring key. It's got an engraving. Literacy becomes on. Oh, that's why I found it. Literacy becomes knowledge. Knowledge becomes power. Alright then. Keep your secrets. And still nothing from Casey, it seems. So let's see. Okay, nothing yet. It might be tomorrow morning. Still nothing. Well, I guess we'll just have to leave it for next time. So everybody, uh, that was today. We got to continue the mission of all. We learned a few things. We got a few things to do. Nice little additions there, especially this. That one's going to be tasty. But, anyways, everyone, um, hopefully next time Casey will get back to us. If not, well, I, I don't know, because it looks like there's no other missions yet. We just got to wait. And we're not going to do maze yet, just yet. So, that being the case, everyone, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully, you'll have a wonderful day. And goodbye.